Kayla Brees. Reality. Everyone has a sense of what it is, but they always question it. Mr. Frederick Nietzsche said, there are no facts, only interpretations. Reality in everyday usage means the state of things as they actually exist. In a simple sense, it is what is real. The term in its widest sense includes everything that is, whether or not it is observable or comprehensible. Philosophy addresses two different aspects of this topic, the nature of reality itself and the relationship between the mind. The two major conflicting perspectives are realism and anti-realism. Realists tend to believe that whatever we believe now is only an approximation of reality and that every new observation brings us closer to understanding reality. Anti-realists are skeptics about the physical world, maintaining either nothing exists outside the mind or we would have no access to a mind-independent reality even if it may exist. Breaking it down further, we have direct realism, indirect realism, representationalism, and idealism. Direct realism, also known as common sense realism, is a theory that sensory perception provides us with direct awareness of the entire external world, whereas indirect realism and representationalism are directly aware only of internal representations of the external world. And as for idealism, well, it asserts that no world exists apart from mind-dependent ideas. Consequently, the idealist feels the world is nothing more than consciousness itself. When we discuss reality in terms of what exists, to what extent are our senses a reliable guide to identify what really exists? The word existence comes from the Latin word existere, meaning to appear or emerge or stand out. Worse even, still, does existence exist? You know the old adage, after you've heard two eyewitnesses accounts of an auto accident, you begin to worry about eyewitness accounts. Meaning the same single event existed completely differently for two different people. My question to my fellow intellectuals is this. What do you think about reality? Are we living it, seeing it, touching it? Is reality just individuality perceived? Just because something is real to one person, does that mean it is real to another? Heck, is this topic just stupid? Pablo Picasso said everything you can imagine is real. Whatever reality is, it is not just undeniable or questionable, it is both undeniable to one and questionable to another. When I think about what I perceive to be real, or what actually exists, I personally subscribe to various scientific models of thought. Albert Einstein stated that an object is influenced directly only by its immediate surroundings. This would mean my reality is based on my immediate surroundings, or my subjectivity. However, quantum entanglements have challenged that theory forever. A quantum entanglement states objects can be linked together even though they may be spatially separated. What this means to realism is that reality is present and defined by things that are not necessarily connected. Or to confuse us even more, that reality is only real because of the things that do not exist. As John Lennon put it, reality leaves a lot to the imagination. My basic day-to-day -day outlook on reality is simple. If I can see it and touch it and hear it, it's real. Anything beyond that may exist, but is it real? I can understand that true reality would include everything, but our individual reality is practically nothing. <laughs> this may be the strangest and most open-ended topic I discuss with my friends, but it also may fashion some of the wildest answers. This is Caleb Brees. What do you know?